hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k minus 7 divided by 7 minus k is equals to 7 and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here now first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verified that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and uh, in the first method here uh, we need to move this uh, 7 minus k from left hand side to the right hand side because you see here 7 minus k is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 7 and after moving this into the right hand side we get k minus 7 is equals to 7 multiplied by 7 minus k and uh, further you see here this 7 is multiplied by each of these two terms separately so it will be written as k minus 7 is equals to 7 multiplied by 7 minus 7 multiplied by k so here uh, you know about that 7 times of 7 becomes 49 minus 7 times of k becomes 7k and further in the next step uh, we need to move the variable terms into the left hand side and we move the constant terms to the right hand side so we have uh, the constant term in the left hand side is minus 7 we move this into the right hand side and we move this minus 7k to the left hand side so you see here uh, minus 7k be the uh, uh, negative term when we move it into the left hand side it will become positive 7k and when we move this minus 7 to the right hand side it is also becomes plus 7 okay so uh, we will get here k plus 7k becomes 8k is equals to 49 plus 7 is equals to 56 and further here our uh, first target is to find the values of k so in order to find the value of k we need to eliminate this 8 from here so in order to eliminate this 8 we need to divide by 8 on both of the sides so when we divide by 8 it will be written as in this form further you see here this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we will get here k is equals to this is 8 times of 7 becomes 56 and we get the value of k is equals to 7 so in the first method you see here uh, we easily get the value of k is equals to 7 and here this is the our first root of this question uh, which we get here from first method and now here in the next step we need to verify that uh, is this value of k is satisfied our given question statement or not so for the verification we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k minus 7 divided by 7 minus k is equals to 7 this is the our given question statement and here we will be verify k is equals to 7 so uh, we need to substitute k is equals to 7 into the left hand side uh, and after substituting this into the left hand side it will be written as 7 minus 7 divided by 7 minus 7 is equals to 7 and this implies that uh, 7 minus 7 becomes 0 divided by this 7 minus 7 is also becomes 0 and this whole equation is equals to 7. So here I can just little bit explain about 0 by 0 form. So you very well know about that a 0 by 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. So if this is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that it is undefined. So if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal. Also if both of the sides are not equal uh, so this concludes that the value of k is equal to 7 is not satisfied over this given question statement. And if the value of k is equal to 7 is not satisfied over given question statement so this means that uh, k is equals to 7 is not the solution or in other words we say that k is equals to 7 be the 
extraneous root of the given equation okay so here i can just a uh, little bit explain about the difference between solution and extraneous root so the uh, roots which uh, is not satisfied our given question statement is called the extraneous root likewise k is equal to 7 with the extraneous roots and the roots which is satisfied over given question statement is called the solution but here unfortunately we cannot get any value of k which is satisfied over given question statement so this means that this question does not have solution or in other words we say that this question has no solution it has only extraneous root okay so further we solve this problem uh, we again solve this problem for our second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k minus 7 divided by 7 minus k is equals to 7 so this is the our uh, given question statement and here uh, in uh, here in the second method i can just give you a fastest uh, way or quickest way in which you can easily get the roots of this equation uh, so here in this method we need to take common negative sign from the numerator side so when you take common negative sign uh, it means that our negative term become positive and positive term becomes negative and it is divided by 7 minus k is equals to 7 so further in the next step you see here uh, this 7 minus k is cancelled out by this 7 minus k so we will get here in the left hand side is minus 1 is equals to 7 so minus 1 is equals to 7 uh, means that uh, these two values are not equal in general uh, so if both of the values are not equal it means that we cannot get any value of k into the second method so if we cannot get any value of k this means that this question has no solution okay so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos